Let's, let's crack on, go for the run, and um, get nice and sweaty. And see you in a bit. Made it. So, quick shower, grab the cat, and off we go. Bed sheets drying everywhere because kids. Good girl. Well done. Sweet tailing as well. So for those of you who don't know, Tin House Studios is, and this is a whole YouTube channel, this is not my main thing. This is not who I am as a, a working person. Um, I, I actually work over at uh, scotchcasino.com, which is my commercial work. I'm uh, represented by Lisa Pritchard Agency, and we shoot ad campaigns. Well, that is what we do. And I'm gonna do a day in the life video of that. If you want to see that, let me know below and let me know what you want to see so I can try and include it. Pop it in the comments. That's really helpful for me to know what you find interesting. Um, my partner's actually away for the weekend, so it is just me. So I'm actually gonna do more work than usual because I don't have anyone else to consider. So I'm just gonna literally go go all in. Um, and, and you know, that, that's important. You've gotta sort of do the work when you can. But enough enough rambling, let's let's try. Right then, about to leave the drive. Got Mogs in the back. There she is, all buckled in. Um, still slightly sweating from the run, despite having a nice cold shower. It was, it was a pretty, it's a pretty hot one today, but there we go. Straight to work, and straight to work out what the hell I'm doing today. Friday went very belly up, we'll talk about that in a bit. And um, yeah, got a bit, bit of damage limitation to do first. Let's move these flowers, because she will attack those. These are leftovers from a shoot this week. Let's pop you down here. Um, at the end of yesterday, I was finished by two of my test shoots. Um, I'm gonna do a little vlog on that test shoot, it'll be on here at some point. And I was all ready to start planning my Saturday. So I was gonna start planning which videos we're gonna shoot, where we're gonna shoot them, get everything set up, make sure everything's ready to go. And then I got a phone call from my agent and we needed to get together a quote ready for Monday morning. And that was Friday gone. And I need to make four YouTube videos today. Normally I do more than this, um, but this is actually an extra day of filming as it were. This is a bit of extra because I didn't quite get enough done on my YouTube filming day. I'm four videos short um, because I'm doing three video weeks at the moment just to sort of work out whether one, two or three is the best return on time. So one video a week kind of keeps the channel maintaining. Two has very slight growth and so far three has had disproportionately good growth and four is not something I'm going to try because I cannot in any way maintain that. Um, but I think it'll be like a two to three a week, depending on shoot schedules in the week and how shattered I am. What's going on, Muggs? Uh, you wanted attention. Okay, so one of the things we need to do at the start of the day is have a look at YouTube. And this is not going to watch videos that I want to see. This is to, to see if anything interesting has happened in the YouTube world of photography that I might have an opinion on. I've got to go to the Tin House Studio website, into the back end, see what orders we've got. Um, see, I mean, like a lot of them are automated. So if you buy a workshop, you just download it. If you buy a pre-sale ticket, it goes out. But portfolio reviews, one-to-one -one calls, mentorship programs, that all comes in a little bit differently. Um, so I need to do that. I then got to go to MailChimp and sort out my next newsletter because I've got some stuff I want to tell you all about. I need to get that into the newsletter. That's a very important part of the marketing. I need to check the Facebook group because that's quite an active place, I think, compared to other platforms. Um, and Facebook, I only use for Tin House Studio. I don't, I don't have an account really to actually do anything with. Um, now, the last bit I need to do is go into my Patreon and make sure all my DMs are applied to and that we've got some content going on there because the Patreon is is a little bit more thought out than the actual like social media in general. And it's where I share stuff that I can't share elsewhere, whether that's opinions, personal stuff or work or little bits that I can't put on other social media. So I quite enjoy doing the Patreon because I can actually be me. Well, this is a not great twist of the day. I'm trying to do the website reviews and the internet's gone down. So thanks BT. I'm gonna try and get it sorted now anyway. Perfect, thank you very much, that's amazing. Super, cheers to that, appreciate it. Uh, no, I think that's all good, thank you very much.
this is what my desk looks like when I'm working. It is just a messy background. Um, but there we go. So we need to tidy this up and then we're making a video all about how this little setup over here works and what it does. Let me show you Moggy in a little sleepy area. Isn't she cute? Um, this is my YouTube setup. So this microphone here is just a shotgun Rode NTG um, and it moves on an arm we put it in below. Then we've got the 18 to 35 Sigma zoom lens 1.8, Blackmagic 6K, record straight to a SSD drive T5. Powering off these lighter batteries at the moment, I normally use V-mount, but it's easier to move around when it's lighter. So I've removed a lot of the, the like crap around it. Um, and then, yeah, sometimes we use the lav mics, or the wireless setup. Don't ever record in full quality. I do like the lowest quality 6K possible. Don't need full quality for YouTube, but this is this is the rig, and it's uh it's done me well. It's done me proud. I do a lot of work on it. It's not perfect, um, but it's all right. And then lighting wise, we use this big beast with an Aperture Pro 600D in the studio, and then in the office we use a much smaller Godox light, because um, it's small and it runs off the Sony batteries over here. So nice and easy to use, and it's easy to get through the door into the office. Whereas this, not so much. But these 600D Pro lights absolute beast mode and um yeah i really like using them just good good solid bit of kit and this is on a a berkey what's it called it's a cine stand it's a cine stand with a bron color boom arm this is like a beast mode light stand and it's all good to go with this huge rt softbox which is one meter 37 by one meter 98. It's a big one, but it's nice, beautiful, soft light and it matches the windows. So I can slightly overpower the window. And then if the background fluctuates because of the window light, we're all good. Anyway, let's crack on with this. So we are set up out here, big soft box, wide lens, bit of a corner view of the room. I've nearly put away my gym stuff. Uh, windows open, just to let some natural light flood across because it is beautiful light in here for background lighting. Um, obviously it's changeable, but it doesn't matter. That's not the sort of video I make. If things change, it's not the end of the world. Then we quickly do a quick scene, bring it in here, just make sure that it grades okay. I've not done anything daft, that the audio is turned on and all that good stuff. And now all I need to do is cool the room down because it's so hot that I'll be a sweaty mess in a few minutes. And uh, once it's all cooled down, we'll begin filming. So my view, this is what I see. So there's my camera, my microphone, big light up there. I sort of sit here talking to this bit and then I get a playback on here, which is sometimes I check and I shouldn't do that, but just to make sure I've not moved out of focus because there's no autofocus here. It's all, you know, film camera-y stuff, manual focus and all the rest of it. Right then, I have done over here, can you see that screen? My list of videos to make. I've already obviously got some ticked off. We've got a new list up here. We've prepped everything, but I am absolutely knackered. It is 2.20. I've got some editing I could be doing, but I'm so tired, I definitely can't make YouTube videos. Um, because you kind of have to be on it a bit in order to, it's tiring to do, at least for me it's tiring to do. So I'm going to take this drive home, I'm gonna edit all the vlogs I've got so far, get them all up to speed. I'm watching the Tour de France because I'm not working at all. And I'm gonna rest, I'm gonna come back in tomorrow and we're gonna continue this. So let, let's do that because, good Lord, do I need a rest. Let's see what Moggy's up to. Now the problem is we're at the mercy of uh, little Moggy here. If she doesn't want to come back, then we, we have to kind of wait for her to be ready. Um, because I'm soft and I don't like forcing her to do things. Uh, but there we go. Big light. Look at this. Beast. Um, yeah, it's got some nice light going on. There we go. There's, there's no special training with the cat. She just does what she does and kind of go with it. Um, but yeah, I'm too tired to film. Much too tired. I'm absolutely shattered. I have shot three times this week. Um, two test shoots, one job, so that that's not helping. And next week, I've got meetings and socials. So I'm gonna go and rest. I think I think that's fair. Is it fair? You can tell I'm a workaholic, aren't you? I need to justify it. And we're gonna come back tomorrow. We're set up. The camera's in position. I've scripted and I've decided what it is we're filming. So all I have to do is present it, and then we can edit it on Monday because Monday's a bit of a write-off day. Now, a quick tip to make your life better: before you go home, tidy your desk. Um, so just doing this a quick clean up, make sure it's all nice and then when I come in to film tomorrow, if I film in here, there's my shot and it looks okay. It's not perfect, it's not YouTuber clean, uh, but you know, I, I've got to work as well, I can't just be, be YouTubering. Right then, so we're back from where we started, I've got my vlog drive, 
So I work on these predominantly. These are Samsung T5s. And if I'm ever too tired to do like work split up into different energies, some is high energy work, some is low energy work. This is mid energy. So I'm gonna get the editing done, drink this raspberry kombucha, um, and generally just do some like menial tasks, do stuff that is low. I've got a lot to do, but I haven't got the energy for the, the high octane stuff. So I'm gonna focus on easy tasks that don't stress me too much. There's a lot of them to do, like really basic stuff as well. And that's what we're doing. Hopefully tomorrow I feel better and I can uh, crack on with some proper editing. But yeah, nice. Oh no, it's not raspberry. Oh, it's raspberry with pomegranate kombucha. Anything kombucha, kimchi, generally fermented in any way. Big fan of. Got myself some Moretti beers in the fridge. Um, so that's me for this evening. Uh, but yeah, gonna, gonna crack on with some editing. We're gonna get the vlogs formed with the footage I've got. These are for two shoots that we're gonna put out onto the channel at some point. I've got another one for the Patreon, which is really interesting coming up. Um, but these two shoots, I need to put together the bare bones and work out what it is I need to add to it to make it make sense for you guys. Anyway, let's do that. Drink some beers. I think I'm going to watch either the Vivian Meyer, Finding Vivian Meyer documentary, or Don McCullen, because Don McCullen's voice is just, ooh, it could turn a man. Good morning again, part two. Um, I'm back in, I'm set to film. I've had coffee, which is an important part of the day. Um, and I'm feeling much better, I had eight hours sleep. I think I was getting unwell, because I felt a bit rapey when I got back last night, um, but I woke up feeling fine. It's half past nine in the morning. I'm going to film here until lunchtime when I'm going out for lunch. I'm going home to see my partner. Um, and then tomorrow morning, if I haven't got it all done, I've got until about half past 11 in the morning to get anything else finished before I go and fetch the boys. And then we're back onto scotchwithinyo.com. That is, this hat comes off and the photographer hat goes back on again. Um, which is difficult because I, in an ideal world, I'd like it to be very compartmentalized but it doesn't work like that like on Monday I still have to check in to make sure my video has gone live and that the audio is playing because if there's anything that I'm going to mess up it's like the video gets cut short or there'll be like a scene in there which doesn't have the color grade applied to it so if the audio is gone or if it's cut short we take it down but anything else you just have to go with it like nothing's perfect it won't be perfect um, but yeah now we're on to YouTube videos I'm going to pop you down so you can see what it looks like when I film them Hey, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a very, a very short subject, and that is estimates and quotes. So I'm three videos in, and we're going to go for some more because I've got a good old list on here. Um, I'll just like quickly let you know the way that I film these. Why is that not tracking my eyes and it's tracking something else? There we go. So the way that I film these videos is that I have a title and that's it, and I talk about the title. Um, it does mean there's a lot of jump cuts and pauses, so I'll often be going, I'll be sat here saying, and then, yes, I think what we need to do here is, and I'll freeze and pause like this until the thought finishes forming, and then I'll continue talking. And that way I can do a really slick jump cut, because um, I can't read very well. I, I'm dyslexic, so reading a teleprompter is not an option. Um, so we just have the title, and then we ramble. And if I mess it up, we just do another take. If I get to the end of it and go, that didn't work, we'll just start again. Um, and it seems to be the most efficient way for me to do this anyway. Just put the aircon on to cool the room down a bit because it's becoming a sweaty mess. And this is our next setup. So just using window light, which is always good. Uh, we're just recording using the lav mics now. So we've got the Rode Wireless Go, which are cheap and good. And I'm just doing some bits about the camera and kit. And then we're gonna do some how-to videos as well. So making good progress, apart from I've just got to offload the memory card here. Um, because I filled it and that's a one terabyte memory card that sits there. So we're putting that onto the system and I've created quite a lot of mess. I don't tidy as I go, which I should. Um, but there we go, that's gonna all get done and then we're off to lunch ski. So there we go, that's it, that, that's my day done. It is, what are we on? Half past 11 in the morning. There is nothing more I can really do today. There's more that I need to do. And um, we're gonna put that onto Monday morning, but this is my day in the life. Yes, it's split over two because I got tired, but you get the gist. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you've, you know, seen something which you perhaps didn't know was happening or whatever it may be, but th this is how we run Tin House Studios. Obviously, there's work off the back of what I've done today. I've got the editing to do, we've got the thumbnails to make, we've got the uploads to do. That has to fit in. That, that's often done in the evenings. We often use this my little Mac, 
MacBook laptop. I'll edit on there, render whilst I'm sleeping, upload from home, go into the studio, whatever it may be. It has to fit around the nine to five-ness of my office job, which is being a photographer. Um, but it's totally doable. I'm going to make a, a video at some point as a free download to show you how to start a YouTube channel. I think my, my video work has come on leaps and bounds from having never made a video when I started this to now making videos commercially now and again. Not to the same extent as my stills work, but still I, I do make commercial videos. But it's also been a great source of income. And I, I don't think I should make light of that. During lockdown, there were periods where the only money I was making were from workshops and YouTube, and it was a lifesaver. Um, it, it just removed all that stress. And yes, I had savings, but I didn't want to dip into my savings. I wanted to keep you know, moving forwards financially. So having this extra income stream has been so useful, so helpful, and just really, really made my stress levels a lot less because commercial photography is all over the shop. You're winning one day and you're losing the next. And it's a real hard, hard thing for me personally to deal with. And I find it much easier instead of dealing with the ebbs and flows of money just to go, here is a steady income stream. This makes this much every month and my photography money, that's bonus. That's just a bonus. And it's obviously more than this makes but mentally it works for me to think of it like that if I can make enough to live on doing YouTube and workshops then the up and down of the photography doesn't matter and if anything it's exciting it's brought the joy back to it because I can I don't have to worry about budgeting going well you know some years first half of the year I'll be up massively but I don't know if that's going to continue there's always that fear so you like hold back or some years you're down massively in the first six months and the next six months are huge and you get some massive campaigns it's a real it's all over the place and I personally don't like that living it's not my it's not how I like to be so this this has been great for me and I'm really grateful that you've all joined on this journey and uh, you know join the Facebook group be, be I'm always checking in there be be part of the community it's a great community we have here there's a lot of people wanting to be photographers or who've become photographers and some have shot some great ad campaigns over the last couple of years it's just it, it's a nice group of people i'm really grateful for that and for you guys all joining me anyway hope you enjoy this see you soon bye bye